Major Ivana Blackledge. I've been in the Air Force 17 years, uh, primarily as a critical care nurse. A year after I joined the military, I was deployed to Somalia. It was a very rewarding experience and proved the fact that why I joined the military was uh, to take care of the wounded soldiers. Then um, in OEF, OIF, I deployed to Iraq in 2003. Uh, then in 2007, deployed as ICU nurse to Balad Air Force Base, which was totally different from all my other experiences because it was not just uh, here and there mass casualties. It was continuous, everyday, horrendous things that we saw and had to take care of. And it was just very grueling and constant traumatic experiences and things I've never seen before. The caregivers have to take care of these patients and see the patients. Um, how do you support them? A young soldier, airman, marine, sailor, who's lost a leg, who's lost an arm, who's lost two arms. How do you let a patient die, which is totally against what we came in for? Things are so nice when you come back initially for the first two months and then the regular life sets in and you start having trouble sleeping and thinking about your past experiences. So it was about two or three months after the deployment and post-deployment health assessment was coming up and I went to see the provider and told them what I was experiencing and um, they said, well, why don't you go to uh, mental health and uh, talk to them and see if they can help you and so I did. And took about um, six months after that and I felt that things were slowing down and getting better. Initially when I was getting ready to come back I was very angry and was afraid of what I would face when I came back. People asking me questions and I felt like I did not want to talk about it. I didn't want to talk to anybody. But then when I came back I realized I really wanted to tell my story and my husband and I were discussing um, very recently experiences and like I told him, but I don't want to forget. I never want to forget those patients that I took care of. I would have never um, done this without the support of my husband. <laughs> But now I realize um, how beneficial it is to share your story. But first of all, you have to be ready to tell your story. This generation seems to want to talk about it and it, it's very um, therapeutic, so everybody should be given a chance to tell their story.